What's up scrappy peeps? It's Adele from Inky Quill and I'm here with a bit of a how-to video for you today. So today I'm showing you how to use those annoying little manufacturing strips at the bottom of pattern paper. Now a lot of the time you might think they're annoying but they're actually really handy and can help you make a layout in less than 20 minutes. So what I'm doing is I've got a whole bunch of manufacturing strips and I'm not planning this, I'm just chucking them wherever I like. Trying to mix up the colours a little bit, mix up the patterns um, so there's not like you know four spotty papers in a row because I do seem to like a good spot paper. That seems to be my favourite, spots and florals. Um, but what I'm doing is these, all these manufacturing strips actually came from an old Scraptastic kit. So what I do with my kits is after, when the next one comes in, I get the old kit and put it in a bag and put it in my Alex drawers, which you can see over in my craft room tour video. And I usually leave it there for about two months, just in case I finish my current kit and need to put up a video or a blog post for Scraptastic and don't have any kit left. So I usually keep them there for about two months and then go through them and break up everything into my stash. And so all of these were from, I think this was the first Scraptastic kit that I got. So what would that be? January, maybe? Um, and most of these are from either exclusive Scraptastic papers or a Jen Hadfield collection that was called something. I'm not sure what it was. Uh, but what I'm doing is just adding some glossy accents just because it's my skinniest and easiest glue. And I'm just going for a bit of a, a bit of a burst of manufacturing strip goodness from the bottom corner. So this is, I believe it's a nine by 12 layout or an eight and a half by 11. It's one or the other. And literally all I'm doing is picking up them and gluing them and slapping them down. So I'm just trying to um, separate the the colors a little bit. Um, I'm also, if there's ones that are extra long, I'm kind of ripping them in half and using half here, half there. And I know that this bottom corner, it's looking a bit messy, but when you put the final couple on, you can cover up all of those joins really easily. So don't worry too much about getting the bottom perfect. And really, you can't notice that in the end, you're not looking at that bottom corner. You, your eye tends to go up. So see, I'm using this one here and I just covered up a whole heap of those seams, which was really handy. So the colors that I went for here were kind of based on the photo, I guess you could say. There's a bit of green in there. I know, I know. The green is sneaking in a lot lately. If you're a, an avid Inky Quill watcher, you will know my um, my relationship with the color green and might be surprised about that little bit down there, but it seemed to work because I had, there's a bit of mint in one of those, like one in the middle and it just, and there's green in the picture. It just, it just worked a little sneaky bit in there. And honestly, I really recommend trying to scrap lift this layout because it was just so easy. And do you know how I came up with this idea? <laughs> it's so lazy. So all I did is I got the manufacturing strips in my hand and I brought them over because I was looking through my drawers for something to create a layout. I was a bit mojo lacking. So I grabbed these and I just put them on my desk for later because I was still going through the, the old kits and they kind of just splayed out on the desk in a bit of a fan shape and I thought it looked cool. So I stole the idea from my laziness. <laughs> so I'm adding some adhesive tape and vellum matting my photo. So this vellum that I get is from, um, I just get it from Studio Calico online from their website because I bought a whole heap of it. I think I bought like, like six packets of it because I can't find 12 by 12 vellum readily over here. And you can tell that we're in winter here in Australia. So I've got my mittens on, I've got my cat mittens and I love them terribly. The kids at school think they're really cute. And the, when I'm on playground duty in the morning, the kindergarten girls try and hold my hand and they try and unbutton the glove, the top of the glove part so they can stick their hand up there and stay nice and warm. But I really do love my mittens. I really want a bunny pair. If anyone knows where I can get some bunny cute mittens online, let me know. So I'm adding some more tape and some more layers. And I decided to do a glassine bag here. I didn't, I didn't really want to do any paper layers because there's so much freaking paper in the background. <laughs> 
And so what I did is I just used the glassine bag, which ironically was also what from cleaning out the Scraptastic kits. It was something that the little bits and pieces came in and I thought, why not keep it? Because I'm a bit of a hoarder of all things papery. And I love the little rough edge that I've got there, but it was a bit too rough, so I cut it. And we've got a bit of a flappy bag here, so I do get some tape and cut it because I did cut off one of the seams and so that made the um, bag kind of split in half. So it's looking quite nice. I don't think I do mixed media on this one. I think it's just a straight up paper one using some craft foam here to give my picture a bit of extra oomph, a bit of three dimensionalness. Um, and you can see my tape obviously wasn't liking my craft foam because I didn't press it down does often help to press down your tape before you peel off the back of it but you know see there we go again do I learn no not at all and so I don't go embellishment crazy here there are quite a few embellishments it is me we're talking about I will never be a minimalist scrapbooker but I'm embracing that and it's it's just it's who I am so I'm going through my bloom Maggie Holmes very fading out ephemera which is getting down and down to the dregs of the container and every time I use a piece my heart kind of goes Ugh, a little bit because it's one less piece that I have but it's okay I'm sure I don't know crepe paper if there's any crepe paperians watching yes that's what you called in my head um you've set a high standard there with this bloom collection let me know in the comments below if you liked the bloom collection as much as I did because it really made my heart flutter quite a lot so I'm just going through and grabbing anything I can I realize I say I'm just going through quite a lot but I do I just a lot of the time when I really don't know what I'm doing I just ruffle around on my desk and something usually falls into my hand and I go oh that's going to work now I'm using my giant scissors and I saw on my Facebook group, Scrapaholics Anonymous, someone bought like 25 centimeter or 25 inch. There's a big difference there. It was one or the other. Um, I'm not sure which one it was, but they were freaking huge scissors from Spotlight and they were like $4. If that was you, you're amazing. I've forgotten who it was because there was quite a lot of scissor discussion the other week, but um, like I've said in previous videos, my scissors that I got are from Officeworks. I don't think they sell them anymore. They're about ooh, seven inches long, I think. And the brand name, I have two pairs. One of them I can't really tell the brand name of. The other one is Leda, L-E-D-A-H. So I'm not sure where you can get them from now, but um, I did get mine quite a few years ago. Let me know. Also, I was just thinking in the comments, let me know if you'd like me to do a like a oh I know no I've got a plan forget that well let me know in the comments below if you would like a bit of a video on my basic um, like my basic scrappy essentials because I can do a video on that if you'd like because I know that um, I've just hit 11,000 subscribers today which is so exciting and I know there's lots of people who haven't been watching my videos for ages so they you know they haven't watched all what am I up to freaking 200 or something um, and so they don't know every you know every little tool or giant scissors that I have so let me know if you'd like a video on my essentials um, and I have another idea for a video mm, yes but I have to film my face to face with that and my face is not looking very facey right now because I'm about to go to bed so I'll film that another day but just adding some bits and pieces and my rule with embellishing is always use different textures so you can see here I've got some flat Things. so I've got some stickers and some just flat papery bits I've got some shine I like to have a bit of shine in there so I've got the puffy stickers for that and I also like to have a bit of wood so I'm doing going through my wood veneer so I like to say three different textures in my embellishment clusters is the way to go also heads up if anyone is from Sydney Newcastle Central Coast kind of area I'm teaching a scrapbooking class this weekend, Saturday the mental blank 18th, mm, 18th, I think it's the 18th, 
um, Saturday the 18th at the Hunter Valley. And I'll put the details down below, but I'm doing a Project Life class for two and a half hours. I'm doing three sessions on Saturday. Um, so let me know if you'd like to come along. I'll put the details down below and you can contact Peter over at Scrapbooking from Scratch if you would like to come and join me and get scrappy. You get a whole kit of goodness. Um, we're using the uh, Coco Vanilla um, collection and I'm showing you how to do some DIY embellishments how to include some extra things in your project life that you might not think of and yeah so I'd love to see some people there it'll be really fun so I've got three classes on Saturday and then I think I'm going to spend I have to actually no I have to spend all of Sunday filming for my new class which will be up very very soon at the end of June end of June peeps end of June it's coming close so I think I'm almost done. Oh, what have I got? Oh, got the enamel dots. Got my favorite enamel dots. And what I've done with my enamel dots is these four um, packets, I really want to use them up because they're colors that I use all of the time and I seem to have multiple packs of some of them. So I'm actually leaving these ones on my desk instead of putting them back in their normal spot so that I don't get them muddled up. And see what I seem to have, like that blue pack. I think I have three half used packages of that and it's driving me crazy so I have to use that before I use any other blues so I decided to go with a bit of yellow because I thought it was a nice bright fun color so there's hints of yellow in this layout a few different surprising things in this one cutting an enamel dot in half so that kind of tips over the page I do really like doing that with my enamel dots oh shake 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 your high shine shake your high shine so I'm going off and I shook that for a lot longer. Paused the video, went off and shook it, came back. Because a lot of people have tr trouble with their um, Heidi Swap Color Shine or Heidi Shine as I call it. Uh, because it does seem to get a kind of oily mm, ring around it. So the, the gold bit's there and then it has an oily circle around it. Um, but if you shake it, shake it, shake your little heart out, then it should be minimized. It might not, it might, you might accidentally still get some, but the chances will be decreased. Adding some Tim Holtz small talk and whoop, hands. I think I was done. Is that, whoop, yep, done, done, done. So this is so easy, guys. I only sped this up to um, two times speed. So it took me 24 minutes to do. It was really, really simple. And I, yeah, it was just fun to use my scraps in a bit of a different way. So I was going to save this for Scrap Stash Saturday, but I've decided to sneak it in today instead. I might do another, maybe I'll do another manufacturing strip video for Scrapbook Stash, blah, strap, <laughs> Scrap Stash Saturday. Thanks for watching so much, guys. And please check out the description box below for links to my Instagram, Pinterest, um, my scrapbooking group, Scrapaholics Anonymous my whoop whoops whatever that I was doing there and I will see you very soon please give it a like if you liked it bye